Hello and welcome to Silverstone in the Formula One Invitational Series. You need to be fully upgraded to get access to this particular race. I did this a few days ago and I went a lot further than I needed to. I ended up wasting about 50,000 M dollars. It was a waste because I couldn't bank them, so I wasted time. So this time I've done some math and I think I have things calculated more accurately. During your first lap at Silverstone, it's good to skip that cut and from here on out, I'm gonna to have to take it if I wanna reach the perpetual point. This cut, you gotta take again and again. If you get it just right, you don't lose traction. Now I'm going to be warping ahead at regular intervals and you'll see that fire circle over top of the distance and speed to let you know that we've just warped. So here we are, this would be lap three and bots are still there. And here we are, this is more into lap five where bots get scarce. And there's the one there. This is me just reaching the perpetual point. And this is a scary point of the race where the timer is getting incredibly low. It's possible that I'm actually overdriving the first few laps, meaning driving them even faster than I need to. But if you don't go fast enough, you never hit the perpetual point. I opt for taking the shorter cut at that last section there, the last chicane, so that I get more on track. Uh, it's also a little bit less risky but sometimes more risky if there's traffic. Then you gotta be really careful here. Watch my timer. Okay, it's gonna jump by 40. You can never pass more than four cars while you're off track or the game's gonna crash and you'll lose everything. So that's the only downside to this race, always having to pay attention to how many cars you pass off track. As you can see, my timer is really nice. I filled it up a few times. So I just need to concentrate on driving clean and taking nice cuts. Here we are warping ahead a little bit more. In this section here, this is what I want to show you. I've started doing this with just one braking point through this whole section. If you get the trajectory right, braking here into the gas there. It's really nice and smooth, and you gain on the bots a bit. And here we are warped ahead a little bit more. Heading into this section, this is actually a really short braking section, and you got to watch it. Sometimes here, that time they did okay, sometimes the bots lose it. So. Here, I'm still taking that cut, which is easier to manage. There is another way where you drive a lot more off track and you cut quite a lot and a little bit harder to manage. And now, okay, here I've got to be very careful. So I'm going to brake before I go off track and take a look to my right, count the cars really quick and then get back on track because I don't want to pass more than four. And hold your line, hold a straight line because lately those ghost spots will really trash you. Look at that no slipping that's done by really gradual turning if you do lose traction get off the gas regain control get back into the gas again it's not a big deal it's really nice when you don't lose traction though you carry more speed okay we're warped ahead more and my target distance is 107.6 i think that might be perfect but honestly i'm a little bit too nervous i might as well go a tiny bit further than that just to make sure that i didn't do all this just to have to go run another speed snap. So I was gonna stop there and I thought, nah, let's just go ahead to what? I don't know, 107.77. I ran this race on 70% bonus fame day. Didn't earn as much as I could have in a 10 lap race, but I'm killing two birds with one stone, reaching my M amount and getting some nice fame amount. And there you go, uh, very little extra M dollars wasted there. So I'm pretty happy with that. I hope you found some beneficial tips here. And then you can have some fun doing this race as well. Thanks for watching and happy racing.